and Nash Roger with Oki Bricks. Today we're going to do the Fairground Collection Haunted House, set numbers 10273 and has 3,231 pieces. Now I'll start off with the people. So we got two identical people here, both workers. One I think just for the entrance is what it shows on the box and one's for the to control the ride. There's two girls right here, one with a kind of leather jacket and one with a, like a school uniform. We got a wheelchair person that's holding a ticket and wears, is wearing a sweater. And then we got two people in the ride, which will pop in just a little bit. One wearing a green kind of jacket and the girl kind of wearing a pink, kind of purplish kind of jacket. So the a lot of the books are coming now with some little stories behind them. Um, so I'm going to read this one. Manor Von Baron is a spooky haunted house theme park ride. It was home to Samuel Von Baron, one of the world's greatest villains. He traveled the globe in search for in search of ancient artifacts to steal for his collection. But perhaps he stole too much after Von Baron snatched the Ray Gu Ruby, Pharaoh Hotep cursed his manor for a thousand generations. Enter if you dare. All right, so there let me move these people all the way. We had to scoot it back some because this sucker is 26 and a half inches tall. <laughs> so it is definitely, it's taller than the uh, roller coaster, I believe. Okay, so we'll start with the front. There's two ghosts right up front. Then we have like a little fenced area with like a gray kind of bushes. There's a pumpkin, a tombstone, two of them, one with the initials TC. And then we got the way in. There's a rat for a wheelchair person, and then just regular steps, which is kind of neat. And of course, the doors, which Roger is opening up with a thing on this, with a kind control of on the control side. on the side, which is super neat that they can open and close. Now we'll turn it around. Wait, before we do, I forgot, you know, I pointed this out at the very beginning for us to remember is the men are on Baron's side. That's actually a button, and Roger will show you what it does later. So you look there. There's a lot of excuse me for. Uh, there's a lot of details. You got some frogs sitting up on the uh, post there, but um, just fencing rods and so forth. Uh, detail around the windows. On the back here, you will see the gear set to control the ride. Um, here you've got the crank, which will make the ride go up and down. Um, you can see it going up through the windows in the back there. There is a brake here, though, that will make the rides fall immediately. Um, then you can just flip it back and make the ride working again. You've got wheels here that will slow it down, um, and the gears and everything work together to slow it down so it doesn't just come down as a crash. Um, you can see these interlocking links. There's 149 of them. Oh, that wow. we said. There's, I believe there's 149 <laughs> of them. Um, and then you've got these two gray. There's one here, and then there's one on the other end of the uh, chain. Those catch the ride and lift it up. So that's the there. Um, when you open it up, if you look here, we're going to uh, make it fall real quick and we'll do it again here in a second. Yeah. We're going to open it up and tell you a little bit about the inside. So the first thing we're looking at is, I'm trying to see it backwards here. It's a skull and oh, crossbones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Isaiah will point it out for us. Right there. Oh, yeah. yeah, on the shelf type thing. So this one states that it was the Isle of Everest, snatched from an Everest mountain temple. It is said the tendrils reach out into the unknown. It also makes a great coat rack. Oh, okay. Which I think is pretty funny there. Uh -huh. um, my favorite part is going to be this organ. Uh -huh. um, I wasn't 100% sure sold on the ride until I saw it in person at a Lego store. But the organ, when I saw pictures of it, I thought that, were, that was pretty neat. It's got some feet, it's got the pipes, pipe organ, and then of course it's got the bench here. Um, I like the organ. It says the organ of Caterino. Von Baron had this origin, oh, excuse me, had this organ custom built in Portugal. He mostly used it to play TV show theme songs. <laughs> so it's kind of got some humor with it as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, next, the heads of Anibus. They're right above the organ. I can't so, really point they're right here. There's one here, yeah. and then one right there. Um, so the heads of Anubis, airlifted out of the Temple of Anubis. Supposedly they are just for decoration. That's it, and that's all. Um, next, we've got a dynamite plunger. They're kind of behind, like, the, I don't know what it's, it's called. It's behind the stuff up there. You yeah. may not be able to see it right away, but it's the escape plan. 
Von Baron lined the face of the Sphinx with dynamite, just in case any curses came along with it. So, that's something that's pretty neat, too. Let me back up, because I skipped the Sphinx. Um, the Sphinx there in the middle. The very first Egyptian item that the Baron stole, the entire manor was built around that and its decoration. You can see the back of the front doors. Isaiah can show those. I think. The back of the doors, we didn't think was so... Uh, Neat as the front. Sure. Neat as the front. They're just kind of plain Jane. They're not decorated very well in the gray. You would think you'd put use a brown one by four, and we may switch that out. Yeah, I like put a back, background-ish type thing, maybe. Yeah. Um, the next, we're looking at this yellow I'm gonna have to get on the table. piece, and then there's a shrunken head to the side of it. It says, the golden dingus. Uh, as Von Baron reached out for the golden dingus, the yeti suddenly appeared and ate his left hand. Suddenly he already had a hook for a left hand, so he simply replaced it with another. The orb of ogle, which is going to be the other. The one with the head. Yeah, it is. Sure. <laughs> a prototype of a mind-controlled super weapon used by the evil ogle empire. Von Baron always kept one handy for a rainy day. So you've got that, and then you've got the box of junk, which is up by the spider web. A heavy, dusty box of junk. A faded sticker reads, I love trash. So he was a hoarder, in a mm -hmm. sense. <laughs> That's a great description. <clears throat> the altar of al Red, which is by the skeleton there. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll lift it up. The altar of al Red. It is unknown what dark rites this heavy-looking stone table originally attended. The Baron used it for light reading on rainy days. And then of course, the forbidden skeleton there, which is hanging upside down, has a top hat as well. Some say Sam Sinister's car exploded while running from the law, leaving only his skeleton and top hat behind. Some say there was once a third twin built butler. So the two butlers Isaiah showed you earlier are twins. No one knows for sure. Yeah. And then the button that we talked about earlier was there's a picture of Von Baron there. Um, a portrait of Samuel Von Baron. As the portrait was finished, a strange glow started emanating from the ruby. Trapped in the mummy's curse, Von Baron was driven mad by Pharaoh Hotep's terrible jokes. At the very beginning, it also talked about the ruby. Yeah, so you can see, in the. I'll show you a picture close up, but you can see with the picture that there is a glow behind it of a skeleton, skeleton kind of thing. So, and then now we have the... Resonate, oh, yeah. which is above the statue I was trying to show you five a minute ago. In a failed attempt to harness power of Regu Ruby with the device, Von Baron accidentally summoned two friendly spirits from beyond. <clears throat> so, but you can see with everything there, um, there's lots of detail in this set, which is always nice to have a set with a ton of detail. Let me see if I can find it real quick. And then, of course, let's put the ride back in there. Oh, he's got it in there. Yeah. If you want to crank it up, Isaiah, you can show him. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to find it real quick. So, look from the outside. So, oh, wait. Yeah, I'll leave it open so they can see it. So, it's going up. You can kind of see it through the windows, which is kind of cool. And right at the top, the door's open. And then it just... Crashes down. But remember, those wheels in the back slow it down. To make it not come crashing. And there's also all extra, of a sudden. like, cushion at the bottom, just in case they did fail. Um, you can motorize this set. We have not <clears throat> yet. We do have some motors uh, we're going to add to it. But all in all, we think it's a great set. I did find the uh, page on it, so as soon as he drops it one more time, we'll show you. We're talking right here. It's the obelisk of evil. Von Baron stole this obelisk because it had the most evil inscription he had ever seen. And all these um, things I've read about also are supposed to be pointing back to older sets that Lego had uh, produced and released before. But we like it. We think it'll add a great um, stuff to our yeah. theme park. Got to back it up again because it's so tall. But we're excited about it. Let us know what you think and like and subscribe below. Thank you.